Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to your 23rd bucket tutorial and today we're doing about advanced log as it says on my list. Um, so, advanced log is, we're going to make a new class um, in our package and for some reason I can't do it any other way now which is annoying me. Can I, like, I oh, don't freeze. Good, good. Um, I might remember for the last episode I'm rendering something. I'm still rendering it. So let's call this uh bucket logger. And this isn't gonna extend anything. Uh so public bucket plugin. So public static bucket plugin. Um public bucket logger um bucket instance. Plugin is equal to instance, and in here we do public final bucket logger blo equals new bucket logger this. Yeah. So in here we're gonna make a few methods. So public void uh enabled and this is going to take a boolean enabled I think so if enabled is true then we're going to do well we need to get a logger so I think public final logger logger equals this dot no sorry Plugin dot get logger Minecraft. This dot plugin dot logger dot get logger Minecraft like that, and remove this from it. What have we done here? Are we changing? Anyone see something change? Ah, okay. Fair enough, that makes sense. Um, and then we're going to want to do if enabled plugin description file PDF file equals this dot get oh, sorry plugin dot get description why did I put enabled there okay so we're just getting the plug PDF file so if it's enabled we're going to do PDF file dot get version plus oh this dot logger dot info and just Add that in there. Okay, so PDF file dot get name. I'll just talk you through this in a second. So PDF file dot get name plus version plus PDF file dot get version plus has been enabled. We'll make that a capital. So if enabled is true in here in our void enabled then we're going to get the plugin description file and we're going to print out that plugin description file has been enabled so otherwise if it's not enabled we're going to do the same thing but change this to disabled okay so we've got these two methods but how are we supposed to get it back into bucket well in our enable, instead of this dot logger dot info, we can do blo dot enabled, and we can say it is enabled, which in our enable and it is enabled, and here we can do blo dot enabled, and we can set it equal to false, just like that evu. So export this.
press the start button and we're gonna get loads of messages and we've just gotta find the one which says about bucket come on you can load I believe in you oh dear we have errors don't know if they're proper errors the errors for ours or not oh that looks horrible that's not for us though is it here you go bucket loading bucket version 1.2 1.0 or there's too many files hmm uh, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna delete all my other. Okay, so I deleted them all. Bucket's not probably the best name though, is it? So let's start this. And you will load. Don't worry about everything that's rendering. Don't worry. Our website's back up, by the way, guys. Go donate. <laughs> that's all I care about. Here we go. Loading bucket version 1.0. Here we go. Bucket version 1.0 has been enabled. Enabling bucket. And then if we stop the server, it's going to say, Bucket version 1.0 has been disabled. Good, it works. That is happy. Happy Ben. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you and showed you how to use cl multiple classes a bit more. So let's tick this off my list. Um, config and their SQL server name. Okay, next tutorial we're going to be doing how to replace things in the config file and strings. So, I've had a few tutorials, uh, requests about that. No, all my plugins are gone. Oh. And never mind. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in another episode. Um, goodbye.